Hi everyone, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel Shivani Creations. Today I am showing you how to make this gorgeous paper quilling musical instrument fridge magnet where I will share how to make this beautiful harmonium along with this cute dholak and the shehnai. Everything is made out of paper and quilling strips. And on back side I have attached the strong magnet to attach on the metal almira or fridge. Isn't it a great idea? So without any delay, let's get started. Here I am taking 14 by 10 cm thick sheet and from left side I have creased at 1, 3.5, 10.5 and 13 cm. Just rotating the sheet and from left side I have creased at 1, 3.5. 6.5 and 9 centimeters now I'm just chopping the corners and constructing the box shape So box is ready here I am making the harmonium now taking one more white cardstock and sticking it in the bottom part of the box then cutting the excess sheet from the edge And the base for harmonium is ready. These all are Indian musical instruments. Now I am taking this brown color paper and wrapping this whole box using this paper. Similarly, I am going to cover the left side. Now I am taking the 7 by 3 cm white cardstock and after each 3 mm interval, I am just creating some vertical lines. I kept the top 1.5 cm portion as it is, just creating the line in the bottom. Here I am making the keys for harmonium. And then on both the sides, I am adding brown color strips. Then on top of this, I am going to add one more brown color sheet horizontally like this to cover the upper portion. And now between these two parts, I am going to adhere one small strip of golden color in 3mm. Like this. And then I will start drawing the keys alternatively two keys then three keys then two keys and so on using black marker now 
so keys are ready now i'm sticking the small thin strip in golden color on both the sides and then attaching brown color sheet on top like this then taking here 7 by 2.5 cm gold mirror card stock and just folding this in zigzag manner here i am creating the mechanism from where the harmonium gets the air so that it can play through the keys so it will come on the back side of harmonium now i'm dividing this in half and going to stick on both the sides of harmonium from back side like this then taking 7 by 2.5 cm brown sheet and just kept 1 cm folded part extra so that we can connect in the bottom now i'm attaching these zigzag shapes with this brown sheet and sticking the 1 cm folded part in the bottom so it should look like this and the back mechanism is ready then i am going to stick my keyboard on top of this then to create front nozzles or knobs i am taking here one fourth strip of 2 mm in golden color and making one tight coil and then taking one eighth strip of 3 mm in golden color and making one more tight coil sticking both the shapes together so we need total four knobs and now i'm sticking these knobs in the front part of the harmonium like this and then i'm just decorating this using white color marker by creating some designs like this and the super gorgeous handmade tiny mini paper harmonium is ready now i am proceeding for the shehnai for this i am taking 10 by 6 cm brown color paper and from one corner i'll start rolling it we have to pinch in one corner and just loose on another side that means we need to create one cone kind of shape it should be nice and tight like this now securing it using glue then on 6 cm length i am just marking and cutting the excess portion and this is done then taking four strips of golden color in 3 mm and making one dome shape so this is done first i am passing the pencil through this to create the center part as a cone and the remaining portion should be flat creating a dome using the bottom portion and filling this using glue
then add glue on the top portion and fix it inside the brown color cone. Like this, allow it to dry. Then I'm just creating some holes on this using white color marker just to pretend and to look like a real Shenai. Then on top, I am adding one more small cone which is made using one sixth strip of golden color. like this and the super cute shena is also ready very pretty then i'm proceeding for the dholak for this i'm taking seven strips of red color in 5 mm you can directly use here dark brown color strips but i don't have dark brown strip in 5 mm that's why i'm using your red strips and i'll color it later so i'm making one big tight coil here by joining seven strips and then going to open it slowly and making the long dome shape like this then filling it with glue And similarly, I have prepared one more with the same measurements and same number of strips. So I'm joining both the parts together. And then coloring the top and bottom using white acrylic color and remaining portion using dark brown acrylic color. like this and then in a crisscross manner I am going to stick white color cotton thread to stick it quickly I am using here instant adhesive you can also use very quick or small dot of glue gun and this is done so pretty now I have prepared this ring using one strip of golden color and added one white paper circle in the bottom and sticking it on the other side to give it nice finished look and the super cute dholak is also ready to play now here i am taking this 8 by 9 cm thick sheet you can also use cardboard or mount board and covering the sheet using yellow color paper And then on the edge, I am adding dark peach color 3mm strip for the finishing look. Like this. Then taking one more sheet which is 7 by 3 centimeters, And I have covered this using yellow paper already and kept 1 centimeter portion in the bottom as it is then sticking both the parts together to create the platform for our instruments and also decorated with some strip and black color marker for the design also covered the back portion using strip from edge so the base is ready now it's time to connect all our instrument on this starting with the harmonium then attaching the dholak and then shenai
like this allow it to dry and then i am going to stick strong magnet on the back side i am going to attach total 3 magnets because it is having little weight so it should hold nicely on your metal almira or fridge and if you don't want to convert this into fridge magnet you can keep it as it is just like a decorative piece or show piece so that's it for today hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and please click on bell icon for the latest updates thanks for watching see you next time bye bye